earth and the street don't treat you well Hope you all are doing swell and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is alexis definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stick around on sundays i post fashion videos and on thursdays i post vlogs and typically those vlogs are behind the scenes of working a corporate job getting my master's in marketing planning my wedding as well as just lifestyle content so if that's something that you might be interested in definitely make sure you stick around so since we're not going too many places during covid and also i'm going to a covid friendly wedding i thought that i would do a little bit of a get ready with me today kind of touching up my hair doing my makeup as well as showing you guys my outfit I hope you guys enjoy I'm gonna kind of do this like a montage style and kind of talk through my outfit like I typically do my fashion videos but for the makeup for the most part I'll try to have all products linked down below in case there's something that you might want to purchase on your own usually my makeup is typically really really natural so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get ready for the COVID friendly wedding so like I said I'm going to a wedding um this is just a COVID friendly one it's supposed to be very very small but um I'm excited because we don't get to go too many places during COVID and also my fiance is in the wedding so I'll be accompanying him and then I'll also get to see some of my great friends that I made through him so this is going to be like a fall natural makeup kind of get ready with me and my products like I said are very very natural because I don't like to wear too much makeup I still like to look a little bit like myself with a little bit more sheer coverage so I'll kind of speed this up and have all products linked down below like I said in case you guys see something that you like on my face that might fit for you as well so I'm gonna actually throw on a podcast um, I listen to so many true crime podcasts throughout the day but the one that I'm listening to right now is lights out and it's the Linda Neopolitano the Manhattan alien abduction so it's been pretty good so far then also since I just have you guys right here i also listened to crime junkie today morbid in the last podcast on the left while i was doing emails at work but i'm gonna pop this on and put you guys on a time lapse while i do my makeup
makeup is pretty much natural. I just like a little bit of shimmer on my eyes and I like for my mascara to make my curly eyelashes to stand out a little bit. But if you guys saw in my recent vlog, I got my first like curly haircut. So I am still working with the style. I was wearing a wash and go for like a week or so, but I just really missed how polished kind of a twist out is, especially since my ends are like ringlets now. Um, I liked how cohesive the curl pattern is with the twist out. So last night I decided to do a twist out and I don't use but one product on my hair and it's just a gel and it makes my hair look so shiny and also just makes the, look how pretty that is. Like the ringlets are so pretty. So uh, earlier today, since I had work and everything along those lines, I did already like lay down my edges, but I thought that I would show you guys the products that I did use for that. So first off, I used my Eco Styling Gel, and then what I realized that I used this Apply with the toothbrush of course and I work around the edges. I don't do very like elaborate baby hair. I kind of like for everything to be a little bit of a swoop and very like to my head. So I use this first and then I go over with some edge stay. And when I got my curly hair cut she said that Cantu wasn't too good for natural hair so I need to find another replacement. But I have like three bottles of this so of course I'm going to use it all uh, before I buy a new one. But I like to put this on second. And when putting this on first and then putting this on second it just ensures that my baby hair lay down the entire day and when I slick back my hair as well that's what I do because I like my hair to be smooth like patent leather I don't like for it to budge or anything like that just so slick that you can just read my mind so that is how I like to do my hair but I also just put on my head scarf and that's just to ensure that like my edges just stay in place all day and it kind of sets it so those are just the, the things that I use for my curly hair but I kind of want to pick it out just a little bit but also I'm like it looks so pretty that I don't need to do anything too crazy to it um, because I was thinking about where you like kind of pull back and I think that is really that's actually really really pretty but I don't have anything that can secure it so it can stay pulled back like that but honestly that is really cute but I want to wear it down because I like to wear my hair down for as long as I can so I won't do nah I won't do a middle part I think I might just I think I actually just might keep it like it is so I won't touch up my hair too much I might just go in and kind of like lightly like lightly take my hand and kind of pull some of them apart just to make it a little bit more frizzy which I like a little bit of frizz and I do have two of these little hair clips since my dress is purple and I'm wearing a black face mask and my shoes are cheetah print. So the cheetah print shoes have black in them so they match the black in my face mask and then I also have gold accessories because my shoes have gold in them as well as my purse. So for my hair accessories that I have and I also have like my engagement band of course is silver and then I might take off these rings and just keep the gold pinky ring on but all of my jewelry for today will be gold so I want to either do one of these little clips or one of these little butterfly clips that you guys can see I wonder if it'll focus let's go Cannon I don't think it's gonna focus because it's really paying attention to my face so I can do one of these because I follow a girl on YouTube she doesn't post as frequently anymore but her name is Samio and I love her curly hair it's a similar pattern like mine so um, my hair is just for reference in case anybody is natural too my hair is 3c 4a but when I wash and go it is more leaning to the 4a part but when I do a twist out it looks more 3c but it's 4A 3C. Um, but she wore one of these little gold things and that's why I picked it up from Target because I thought it was so cute in her hair. I think that might be too much hair. Okay, so it sticks out a little bit. So I'm gonna put some, I might put some bobby pins on it just so it can kind of stay in place. Now I wanted to do the get ready with me in my bathroom because I get ready in the bathroom anyway and if I did it in my office that's not very realistic because I do everything in my bathroom, my hair, my makeup. So uh, I kind of just want this to sit down a little bit more. I wonder if I put a pin 
Ooh, perfect. So that's what it's looking like on the side. And I think it kind of just plays up my shape as well. And it also gives it a little bit more bling. So we'll see what it looks like when I put the dress on. But for right now, I like it. I like to have like this little curl right here. Then the rest of them kind of away from my face. But I'm going to put on my lipstick. And I think I actually have everything right here so these are my like go-to um that i use all the time and i also have a bunch of other like colors that i like to use but i like to put on lip chat hi guys so um i was concentrating that's why i had to do my little my lip line but um i go in with the lip line and i like to put on chapstick so my favorite ones are the rosebud south by smith and i use this like as a nighttime moisturizer but also if i'm putting on lipstick um i like to put this on as well even though i'll have a mask on i don't know why i'm putting on lipstick but for the sake of this video i'll put on lipstick but more than likely i'll just have on lip chap underneath my mask as well as like a little gloss but this is the other chapstick that i love to wear it's just the o OG one is the CarMax, but for my lipstick, I am using L'Oreal, which makes the best lipsticks, and this is in the color Cinnamon Toast in number 839, and it's just the perfect fall shade. It's so pretty and toasty, and I wish I like miss wearing lipstick so much because I used to wear them to the office all the time before COVID, but now since I'm working from home, I just put on like a lip gloss before my Zoom meeting, so I I miss wearing lipsticks and people seeing my lipsticks. So, and then just to make sure that everything is glossy and kind of melted in, I go in with my e.l.f. lip gloss in Love Bite. And I love this one because it pairs so well with so many of my like favorite L'Oreal lipsticks that I use. And I'm just going to kind of melt in the liner as well because I don't want it to be too prominent. So there we have it. This is the look and I'm going to show you guys my dress as well and I'm kind of going to talk through the outfit and show you guys how I'm styling it for the wedding. I don't know what purse I'm going to take just yet so I might not include that but of course I'll show you guys my shoes and my dress. So let's get changed and this is the look. I like it. It looks very natural and it's really cute. So yeah, let's get changed. So this is the dress that I'm wearing for the wedding, you guys. I kind of really like the little clip in my hair. I think it looks cute. Kendall just recently mounted this mirror, so this is why it looks a little bit new. But um, I decided to keep the jewelry, like I said, pretty much simple and the same. So I have my gold stack jewelry. This one's from my friends over at Ana Luisa. And in case you guys ever want to purchase something from their site, I have a discount code link down below but I also have my everyday cross I wear it all the time because my faith means so much to me so I like to wear it on my chest and these are my real gold hoops that Kendall got me for our anniversary I think it was our first one so I always love to wear these because they're just a staple piece within my jewelry then like I said the little clip you guys saw already and then for rings of course I have my engagement ring and on this hand I have my ring from Majuri and then also just a pinky ring that Kendall gave me when he gave me these earrings. It's just a real gold little ring, pinky ring. And then for bracelets, these are from Target. I don't know if it'll focus, but these bracelets are just from Target. So super simple, super plain. But my dress, you guys, this is from ASOS and it was in one of my most recent ASOS hauls that I did on my channel. But honestly, this is gonna be one of my favorite wedding dress, guest dress, because we have a lot of weddings that are coming up COVID related of course so they're going to be very small and intimate but we have quite a few to go to so I just needed a staple dress to wear to everyone's wedding because everyone is getting married. I'm getting married next year October the 2nd so we're also getting married but for everyone else's I thought that I would just buy like a dedicated dress to wear to everyone's events. So this is just a really pretty purple one. I love it. It fits like a glove. It's in a size 4 because I had to size up. Usually I'm in a size 2 
in most of my dresses, pants, and my tops are extra small, small. But for some reason, this was so stiff on my shoulders that I couldn't really move them up. So I got a size four so I can have more room within my shoulders because since I am tall, I'm 5'9", my shoulders are a little bit broad. So, um, play sports all my life, so whatever. But um, this is a dress, it is so stunning. I love it, it's like, Where's the waist? It is linen, so it's a little hard to keep it without wrinkles, but it is a really stunning dress. I love anything with like billowy sleeves, and this has it, and it's just also a great way to show off like your bracelets, anything along those lines. And since I do have a smaller chest, I didn't want something to be like so severely dipped down. I like things to be a little bit crossbody because it flatters me much more with my body type. And I love these little ruchings. It's just a really pretty and delicate dress. I love this little ruching at the bottom. It just makes it a little bit more flirty. And then the bottom, you guys, look at that. I love this slit so you can see my muscular legs, but I just think it's so stunning. And I did try to like move the slit over to the side, which you technically could, and then create like a little side slit, but it is prone to like wrinkle a lot more. So I think I'm just gonna wear it as it comes and wear it like this. And then for my shoes, these are just my cheetah print um, sandals from Steve Madden. I don't get much wear out of them, but they're gonna be like my wedding shoes for like wedding guest shoes. And I love them because they have so many different jewels on the back and I think it also just plays up this very very like simple sophisticated outfit and then I also want to show you guys some of the accessories that I'm bringing so for purses of course I'm wearing this brown one and it also has cheetah print in it because it matches the cheetah print that is found within my shoes as well as the black which is found within my shoes as well as my face mask and we're just gonna put that right there this is the little face mask that I'm gonna bring because it's just simple and just goes with everything and when I'm like eating and stuff it's easy for me to like pull it down eat drink and then pull it back up it doesn't lose its shape either and I really like that about some face masks usually I get them from Old Navy and they don't lose their shape either but I do have some that I've ordered randomly that like you wear them for an hour and they're already falling down but haven't found that with that one just yet but this is what I'm wearing to the wedding you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video me pull you around so I do have a little bit of a ring light on right now because it looks like it's about to rain but you guys can also see my makeup a little bit up close and personal I hope you guys enjoy getting ready with me for this fall wedding if you didn't make sure those fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already as well as press that bell notification so you can be notified each and every time that I post because we have so many fun and exciting things coming up so I want you guys to be a part of that I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye you guys!